If you want to learn a simple technique for creating lovely backgrounds, keep watching and I'll show you how I created these misty mountains. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another technique video for card makers and paper crafters. The beautiful mountains on this card are so easy to make that you're going to love this technique. I'm going to demonstrate on this piece of cardstock. It's not a full background, but you can adopt it to whatever size you want. What you'll need is a piece of heavy paper or light cardstock that you can create a stencil with. This is some old junky cardstock I got from Staples years ago. You could use just regular paper, but I like something a little stiffer when I'm sponging against it. You might want to draw a pencil outline of the shape that you want your mountains to be in, like this. Because you're tearing instead of cutting, it's going to be pretty approximate. You're not going to get it exactly right. So I'm going to start by just snipping one edge of the cardstock. That makes it easier to get started tearing it. And then I'm going to try to tear right along the line that I drew. So that's what I've got. Now I'll temporarily adhere this to the cardstock. This is Sahara Sand cardstock and I'm going to sponge with soft suede ink which is quite a bit darker. So I'm going to sponge off a lot of the ink before I start and I really want just a light bit of ink against that line. It may not look like much at this point. But when I take the stencil off, you can see I've got quite a dramatic skyline. Now I made a second stencil for mountains that are further away. And I'll put those in position. And because they're further away, I want the ink even lighter. So they'll look like they're off in the distance. And that's it. It's really simple. To get that misty look, I'm going to sponge lightly with some soft sky in the light areas and above the mountains. Hope you have fun making mountain backgrounds. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. And don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button now.